Welcome back, Robin Good here. And in this video, I want to show you exactly how much body fat you can lose on a weekly basis without losing muscle mass. So let's dive right into it. So just to quickly start off beforehand, you probably did some diets before, or you know a friend of yours did some diet and you know some crazy low carb, keto, whatever, um, some super restrictive diet. And he said like, oh, you know, I lost like five kgs in the first week or seven kgs in the first two weeks. And you ask yourself, is this actually possible? Is this physiological possible? Is this really coming from fat or is there some other processes going on? And there is actual science on that, how much body fat you can lose. And it has to do something with that number. There have been studies that shown exactly that there is a maximum transfer rate, which you can, where your body can utilize body fat before using muscle mass as the source of energy, right? So we know we need to go into a calorie deficit in order to lose body fat. We need to consume less calories than we're burning, but there's a maximum to it. So this maximum is actually 70 calories per kg of body fat. I'm taking here the short version. So 70 calories per kilogram of body fat. So that means if someone has 10 kilograms of body fat, he can maximally go 700 calories into a deficit per day without having to lose muscle. So let's have a look how this could look like in reality and um, how you can then use this knowledge for your case. So let's say we have Ben here. This is Ben. Let me actually name him Ben. Ben is 100 kilos has 20% of body fat, which is, you know, he's not obese, but he has a little bit of body fat, especially in the belly area to carry around. And he wants to get rid of that. So Ben decides, hey, I wanna work on that. I wanna get into better shape. So what he does is he estimates his calories, sees, okay, this is how much he can go. And now with the knowledge that we're having with this number and his body stats, right, is, that with the 70 calories per kg of body fat that we can know we can maximally go into a deficit. This one is easy, 100 kgs, 20% of body fat means he has 20 kg of body fat actually, right? Which then results in 1,400 calories that he can maximally go into a deficit, right? Per day, per day. If he goes above that, he's going to lose muscle mass. Not a cool thing, but maximally to really go at the maximum pace, 1,400 calories, which then by a week will lead to a deficit of 9,800 calories. So this is then, you know, times seven, seven days. And we know roughly that in order to lose one kilogram of body fat, we need to go into a deficit of 7,000 calories. So in his case, this will lead him then to lose roughly 1.4 kg per week. Wait, let me actually take the other color here. Boom. So this is the maximum, the very, very, very maximum, and also in theory, of course, that he can lose per week without having to lose muscle. And we have to keep in mind, as we progress, as Ben progresses, this rate will become lower because let's say after a week, if he goes into a deficit for 9,800 calories per week and he lost 1.4 kgs, his body fat goes down, his initial weight goes down, and with not anymore having 20 kgs of body fat, he doesn't can go into that big of a deficit anymore. So this number will become lower over time. What also is going to happen is some metabolic adaptation. So you all anyway have to take this into consideration. But if 
Ben, for example, does a crash diet and he loses three kgs per week, you're gonna know he's losing muscle. And that's not a good thing because when he loses muscle, he loses active tissue in his body that uses, that needs energy, that burns calories, um, and which in the end goes into a vicious cycle, in the end leading him to, after a diet, regaining it quite easily. Now in this case, um, let's have a look at, let's call him um, Johnny. This is Johnny. Johnny is a little bit lighter, you know, is only 80 kgs and it also has a lower body fat. So 15% body fat with, you know, some genetics, it's also possible to see a little bit of the abs already, you know, with a lot of imagination maybe. No, with some genetics, it's possible to see the abs very slightly, but this is, you know, an average. But Johnny decides, hey, I want to shred down. I want to, you know, get to, let's say 10% body fat, really look, get into that beach shape, into that Hollywood shape. So he decides also, hey, I want to shed some fat. Let me actually quite do a line here. So what Johnny does now, with that number, we now know how much he can go into a deficit. So with 80 kgs and a body fat percentage of 15%, we now know that he has 12 kgs of body fat, right? So 15% of his body weight is 12. 12 kgs of body fat. Now, with that number, we now know that he can go into a deficit. So 12 kgs times 70, 840 calories. And of course, also this times seven. So we know per week, this is per day. And then times seven, because you know, the week has seven days. This will lead then to a deficit of 5,880 calories and that results then because we already know let me write it actually down one kg of body fat 7000 calories so we remember to lose one kg of body fat we need to go into deficit of seven we need to create a deficit of 7000 calories so in this case right now with 5880 calories and knowing that we know uh, we need 7,000 for one kg, this will lead then to a loss of 0 0.84 kgs per week. And as you can see right now, the leaner you get, the lower your body fat gets, the smaller of a deficit you have to create because if, you, if you're gonna create a deficit of like a thousand and you're already around like 12, 13% body fat, you're gonna lose muscle. You're gonna lose muscle. That's not what we want. We wanna keep muscle mass high and creating a lower body fat percentage. But now these numbers right now, this is just theory. And also if you go pedal to the metal, really grinding it all out, this is like a deficit of like 1,400 per day is really, really tough. Let's say for example, Ben's um, calorie intake to maintain his weight is around, let's say 3000 calories. And in order then to get to that deficit, he can only eat 1,600 calories, which is a, not that much. It's not that much. And it's really hard. As I said, maximum pace, you can still have a lower of a deficit and let's say, um, go only like a thousand calories per day and then lose one kg a week, which is still very, very good, but the process is way more enjoyable. So this is, as I said, just theory in the end, it needs to be something that you can do, that you can commit to, that you can see yourself doing over time and that you can actually, you know, that doesn't restrict your life too much. And that's what we're also, of course, doing with flexible dieting here. Um, we are gonna make sure we create the best deficit possible for your situation. So you lose body fat as you want with creating the right deficit for your situation. So with that, we're then creating the right deficit for you so you can enjoy the process, still eat the foods you actually like while losing body fat in the most efficient and of course, in the end, and also sustainable way. So I hope this quick video helps you to understand that these crash diets where you can lose, where they promise you, you can lose five kgs in a week, 
these detox programs doesn't work. It's fake. They, they promise you something wrong. This is science-based numbers. I'm going to link the study actually down below so you can check it out yourself. And next time when you walk up to an offer where they promise you something that sounds too unrealistic, you're going to know it better now. You know how much body fat you can lose that and you can actually make the calculations for yourself. So see you in the next one. Robin Good out.